Well, good morning, family and friends. Day uh, 16, May 13th, 2021. Just left Cracker Barrel. As you saw in the video, you saw what I had. And now we're heading out of the Microtel, back on the road. And I have to make my way to Wawa before I hit the main highway. Anyway, sorry about the road noise. <clears throat> I want to uh, open up today's video by saying and giving a heartfelt shout out to my daughter, Denise, grandkids, Ella and John for putting their heart in the right spot and wanting to pay for my room at the Microtel. But through a faux pas, uh, the payment didn't go through or whatever. Anyway, I wound up paying for it, no big deal. But the heart was in the right spot and I thank them so much for their thoughts and their kind-heartedness. It's stuff like that, help and support from the family, that makes this hike not only possible, but more enjoyable. So once again, thank you, Denise, Ella, and John. So, I gotta find a Wawa, and we'll get back to you. Oh, 15 miles today, uh, Eck, Eccleville Shelter, I think, something like that. I don't know, but 15 miles, and we got to do a big up. Let me show you. That's where we got to go up today. It doesn't look that imposing, but once you're there in front of it, it's all the more. Plus, there's a lot of rocks. Well, ain't that a kick in the ass? Wow. Didn't see that coming. Oh, well. Let's hit the trail. Changing plans. Walmart's here. Nope, wrong again, it's Lowe's. Ah, all right, let's go, stop screwing around. We gotta get, we gotta get hiking. Well, you can see today's initial climb coming up there. Hold on, let me zoom in. So we climb up there, go along this ridge. Go down, bump up again. Climb up there in that ridge and away we go. I'm about less than a mile away from there. Ah, the AT, back on trail. That horrible road walk. Here we go, 8.30. All right, well let's go up, 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 up. Yes siree. As I make my way up, away from the road noise, got a little view here, but much rather hear birds than trucks whizzing by me and cars whizzing by me. Much more tranquil and safer setting. No fun facts have come to me yet. But when they do, I'll let you know. I'm discovering that going over a rock field like this, I depend less on my trekking poles than just rock hopping and focus where I'm gonna put my feet. Because I find if I use my trekking poles, that kind of gets me off balance. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a continual learning experience, how to negotiate through these rocks. And I assume that I'm going to have this for the next three days, even more so. So we are at Pocahontas Spring, 
and Windsor Furnace Shelter is uh, to my left. And that brings to mind today's first fun fact, that when I hit Windsor Furnace Shelter, that will be my 200 mile mark, and that's in three miles. So 200 miles today. Love clicking off those hundreds. This trail is sweet coming up my 200 mile milestone marker. But man, this is excellent. Still a beautiful day. Temperatures are low. Birds are singing. I'm not singing. <laughs> I don't want to do the birds any harm of listening to me sing. But uh, yeah, 200 miles coming up. Site of Windsor Furnace Circuit, 19, 1745 to 1883. And we're in this big, huge, wide open area. And we're coming up very shortly on 200. Commemorating Appalachian Trail, 75 years, 1937 to 2012, Georgia, Maine. Look at this everybody, 200 miles at Windsor Furnace Creek. Outstanding. The next 100 miles at 300 will be in New Jersey, my home state. The hike up to Pulpit Rock with uh, supposedly some views and it's supposed to, and the land is owned by some astrology club, Lehigh Valley Astrology Club. I don't know, but let's check it out. Not astrology, astronomical park is what it says. Thank you trail maintainers for these rock steps that you provided for us. On the way up here to Pulpit Rock views. And just a little bit off the trail, some observatories. Wow. Pretty neat. This guy in front of me. Oh, yeah. Watch the night sky. Great spot. Pretty clear of any obstructions, anyway. Okay, back on the trail. So, this is owned by the Lehigh Valley uh, Ast Ast Astronomical Society. I thought I had something crawling up on me. Astronomical Society. Wow, from Pulpit Rock. Amazing. Wow, what a day. Now let me zoom in a little bit. Go back the other way. Cool. I was the only one up here. Now there's like five, six people. So I guess I'm in Amish country <clears throat> because I just passed um, a father with four boys and a girl. No provisions, no backpack, no, no nothing. And then about five minutes later, the mother, who was dressed in her Amish clothes, she had everything, carrying a backpack and all the kids' jackets. And I just passed another family of Amish folks. So, 
hopefully they're all coming from this uh, rock I forget the name of Pinnacle Rock yeah I'm going to Pinnacle Rock for lunch uh, at Pulpit Rock Lookout it was 2.2 miles and that was half hour ago I guess but uh, I thought it was interesting because I commented myself I got nothing no provisions no 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 backpack no water nothing well mom's carrying everything for a family of five no rocks, rocks, rocks. Boy, here comes more people. Sorry. Yep, definitely an Amish. Yep, definitely an Amish country. Coming up by the droves. The Pinnacle. Just had a nice conversation with the Amish family. Yeah. Definitely, uh, oh. Definitely um, an Amish country. Pinnacle Rock, everybody. I can see I'm not the only ones here, but if I was if I was a betting man, I'd say that ridge right out there is a ridge I'm going to be taking. Into, in, into New Jersey. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful creation God has made for us. Magnificent. view from Pinnacle Rock. All done with lunch. The Amish folks have left. Probably all Amish country down there. All Amish farmland. Beautiful green pastures. Farmland, beautiful area. <clears throat> Magnific, magnificent. Well, after that rocky ascent to Pulpit Rock <clears throat> and, Pin and the Pinnacle Rock, uh, this is my afternoon trail, Old Woods Road. I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know, it's kind of boring just flat ground, kind of like little ups and downs, but it's basically going to, the elevation is not going to change much, it's going to descend into our shelter, which is probably about five miles away. Well, this has been my hike this afternoon. This has got to be the easiest five and a half miles in Pennsylvania on the, on the AT. This road goes right into our shelter, but uh, <laughs> surprise, surprise, in Roxylvania, Throws you a little curve. Keeps you engaged. Thought of another fun fact. This, since this rain last Sunday, for me, this has been a perfect, perfect hiking week. The temperatures have been very cool. It's been very, very cold in the morning. Oh, there, it's been in the coldest morning we had was, uh, what, Tuesday, 35. But uh, it's been in the 40s in the morning and in the mid 60s during the day. Right now it's kind of clouding up a little bit. I don't know if we can get a shower. But from what I looked at this morning, the long range forecast is good until Monday. We may get some showers. Temperatures may be creeping up a little bit to the 70s. But uh, hey, I've been blessed with some very, very good hiking days. Hook Mountain Road, Eckville Shelter, which I'm going to, to my left. Look at this. PA New Jersey border, 61.3 miles. Another fun fact, right in front of me. This is really bizarre. Eckville Shelter right off of the road. 
Is this right? I mean, I don't know. Caretaker's house. You are here. Shelter. It's right there. It's right there, I guess. Eckville Shelter. Well, I don't know. Let's see if I can if I can uh, hang any place here. Check it out. Nope, not staying here. Gonna go up the road, up the trail, 2.4 miles to a campsite. Hopefully I'll find something. I was able to get water here this evening. So I'm carrying a little extra weight. 2.4 miles. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna stay there. Nope. Plus there's no place to hang. I don't know, it's Just it's just weird. Run on a road, I don't like it. It's only 4.30, plenty of daylight left. So Eckville Shelter was a bunkhouse on some guy's property. He's a caretaker. Um, there's a nice privy there, uh, top water, but uh, it's it's right on a road. It's in an open space. Uh, it just I just got weird vibes. Plus, oh sorry, Jesus. Get the hell out of me. Anyway. He, uh... What you call it? What was I talking about? I, j I just got with strange vibes. So, uh, I'm gonna go another... Either half mile or two and a half miles. To a campsite. My only problem is, there's a two and a half mile one. There's a... 800 foot... Ascent that I have to do. Uh, to get there but it's only quarter to five it's early so we're gonna go for it hopefully there's spots that I could camp at well end of the day comments I'm uh, here in the stealth site on the trail there I mean there's a the trail the AT is right there <laughs> Um, so, and I'm right here, there's my hammock, and I'm cooking my dinner right here. I'm having couscous cous -cous tonight. So, it's uh, 7.30, and I want to finish my dinner. It's quarter to eight. Oh, boy. It's quarter to eight, and I want to finish uh, my comments, my dinner, and I'm going to crash. So, basically, today... I have to edit this film. So today I did uh, 17 trail miles, um, and actually, and then I did two miles in town, 1.7 to get to the trail from the Mike Hotel, and then the Cracker Barrel, and then I had to go to Wawa, as you saw, and it was closed. So I th I did probably 19 and a half, close to 20 miles today, but only 17, 18 miles. So that's that's all we can count on. So that's about it for today. Um, I'm going to keep the rest of this short. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, I'm, I'll upload this as soon as I can. I have no signal here. And as you know, I'll, I'll, when I get into town, I'll upload these things. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate uh, the positive comments. And uh, thank you very much. And all God bless and have a great evening.